Matchups all the way around right here at the point, James and Reynolds. And Clark nails a three. That's only his seventh made three of the year. Still doing well, averaging almost five assists a game. He also has become a much better floor general. Another three. Reynolds hit this one. Anderson will try a three. Cunningham kept it alive for Clark. That's going to be the key for Villanova. They've been rebounding by committee, getting second chance opportunities. One out of two for Matthews at the line on the other end. Fisher missed the layup with a tip good. Well, we talked about rebounding by committee. Wave Camp provides an endless number of perspectives, giving audiences and coaches great views every day as Anderson has the hot hand right now. You know, he's a consummate role player called on to play defense right there, victimized by the lob. If you're going to front, you better put ball pressure on the passer. You mentioned before, Jerome McNeil gets in foul trouble. They don't really have anybody on the bench to cover. Butler's the best. Anderson got to the loose ball. Somehow put it up and in. How did he score that one? Oh, it's a tribute to hard work and perseverance. Never gave up on himself. Fisher all the way to the basket, scooped it in with the left hand. He had 21 against Marquette in the first meeting. Hey, he's getting some open looks. Hayward with a block. Into the hands of Reynolds. He puts it home. It's because they've been moving the ball and getting open looks. Villanova has to start pushing up on guys now. Corey Fisher with the answer from three-point land. They're just doing a terrific job of running this team. He's among the nation's leader in that. Assist to turnover ratio as Fisher hits his second triple. He's got eight points from the floor. Redding on Hayward. Cunningham hits several of those against Syracuse and knocks one down here. 31 the other night. He's got six in this game. Mutations in the standing. McNeil, no. Reynolds out of there with it. This is a letting them play now. They're allowing a bit of that contact on the defensive end. Count that one and a foul. But not that one. On the campus of Villanova, where Villanova's won 25 in a row. Marquette changing up, going from zone at half court. Reynolds ties the game with a triple. And only three blocks a game for Marquette, but right there, a nice job by Hazel. Cunningham never misses from that range, seemingly. And Dante Cunningham has eight points in this one. Fisher, a deep three. Looks like Dominique James just stood and... Fisher got to get it in bounds. Fine Stokes leaning in. It's a two by Stokes, and that'll be the end of the first half. I can't be 14 off the bench to lead the way for Villanova. Cunningham gets the bounce. He's in double figures now with 10 points. Cunningham hands off for Reynolds, and Scotty Reynolds with the basket. Think about that. Obviously, it's in his blood. He's been there for so long, and he's done it so well. Why not get the opportunity at a program of your desire? Reynolds hits another three. Largest lead of the game for Villanova at 10 points. Good answer by Wes Matthews. But again, Villanova is playing so well offensively, one-on-one. -on -one. You just saw that right there, Scotty Reynolds, as well as moving the ball. And both Williams have seen enough. You got to make a defensive adjustment. And we're talking about Scotty Reynolds. A little difficulty shooting from the field throughout the season, 38%. But when it's big game time, Scotty Reynolds comes up big. There's the jumper making his presence known. <laughs> Double team comes to Cunningham. An open look for Fisher. 17 now for Fisher. Clark rebounds. Fisher in transition on Hayward. Big basket by Fisher. Tough. Doesn't always rent us resonate. Jay Wright with the Zanias and the Versaces and everything else. Here's the other Corey Stokes to the basket. Look at this five out kind of offense. Clark for three. Big shot by Clark. Again, punctuated by excellent ball movement. Get that wheelchair ready. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stokes thought about it, but Matthew, Matthew's right in his grill. Reynolds from about four feet behind the line. 21 for Reynolds. Of course, Stokes helping his teammate out. Cunningham got free from Hayward, and Villanova's got its largest lead at 14. Here's Clark on the low block, working on Matthews. Nice spin. How long do you keep Cunningham on the bench? He's got to back up a little bit, recognize perspective. Nice drive by Reynolds, who has 23 to lead all Wildcat scores. Oh, yeah. All movement against the full court press, and Villanova attacks it the way it should be attacked. Hayward way off the mark with that three. Good feed by Stokes to Pena, puts it in. Marquette not going away, but Villanova is shooting lights out here in the half. Right on cue is Reynolds, 27 for Scotty. It's great time. Clark with two on the timer. Falls off. And Villanova for the second straight Big East game.